As you may or may not know, I'm an engineer so I wanted to show you what Mr. Pandaria would bring for us. This isn't a leveling guide and I won't cover everything, this will just be about the things that really stood out for me. Let's start with the materials that you will have to farm. We have the following. Ghost iron ore, which comes out of a ghost iron deposit or a rich ghost iron deposit. Two ghost iron ore make one ghost iron bar. You have kuiperite, which comes out of a kuiperite deposit or a rich kuiperite deposit. You can't melt kuiperite into a bar, neither do you have to. Trillium ore, which comes in two colors, either black or white. You have trillium veins and rich trillium veins, and someone on WoW had said that the color of the rock under the vein decides what color of ore will come out. I'm not sure about this, but I even found a vein that had both black and white inside. Two ore of each color makes one trillium bar. You will need Spirit of Harmony, which is created by combining 10 modes of harmony. Mode of Harmony can drop off any mob in Pandaria and can be farmed on your own little farm. It's soulbound, so you can't sell it, and I hope that they will make it account bound in the future. I can recommend holding on to your Spirit of Harmony for the things that you really want to use. They are soulbound and hard to farm until your farm is up and running. So what new little gizmos do we get? Let's take a look. Mist Piercing Goggles allows you to see additional mining nodes and herbs while in Pandaria. They can be sold and used by anyone and you don't have to wear them to receive the benefit. Although you might want to because they look awesome. Thermal Anvil. Finally a portable anvil. It has 20 charges and can be sold and used by anyone. I've been waiting for this one for a really long time. You can make your own cogwheels now to put into your engineering gear. Two ghost iron bars per cogwheel. You can make a ghost iron dragonling trinklet. Item level 450. It has room for three cogwheels and it summons a ghost dragon to fight at your side. Once again binds on equip. Crafting a bundle of Pandaria fireworks will give you a random piece of fireworks at first, but also a pattern for the piece that you made. Later on you get all the patterns and you can decide which fireworks to make. A Goblin Dragon Gun Mark II. It has 50 charges, unleashes lightning in a 10 yard cone, deals nature damage and you can walk while casting. It looks badass and can be sold and used by anyone. Wormhole Generator Pandaria. Teleports you to somewhere in Pandaria and has a 15 minute cooldown. The teleportation is random this time but they've lowered the cooldown, which is awesome. Mechanical Pandaren Dragonling, a new pet which you can sell. And look at how cute it is. Tinker's Kit. You can craft these yourself or buy them at an engineering vendor. I'm not sure if they will also go live. They are used to attach tinkers to your belt, cloak or gloves, so you don't no longer need to farm special materials for individual tinkers. Just make a kit and tinker it on. You can, for example, tinker your belt so that you can walk on water, but I still prefer the spring boost. You can attach a mountain fireworks launcher to your gloves, which deals fire damage for 3 seconds to a target at long range. And you can attach a goblin glider to your cloak, and this one is a great improvement over the old parachute, since you can now steer while in the air. At 600 you get your final expensive gadgets, and they are the following. Two new headpieces, one with strength and stamina, and the other with intellect and stamina. They each have room for one meta gem and two cockwheels. Look at those sexy goggles. You can make Blinktron, which is a bling bling robot that offers gifts to anyone that talks to it. It's a daily quest, so you can only receive it once a day. He will wait around for 10 minutes and has a 4 hour cooldown. Your gift can contain grey vendor items or something more special like a party grenade. The best gift to get is a fire spirit which increases your skill in any primary professions you have trained. There are two new mounts, goblin engineers get a depleted rocket and gnomage engineers get the world spinner. You don't have to be an engineer to use them so you can own both or sell them. Minimum level required is 20 and it will change depending on your riding skill. The materials for the level 600 gadgets are a bit more difficult to get. The special gems like Wild Jade are made by transmutes and require gems you can find with prospecting. Living Steel is also made with a transmute. It can cost 6 trillion bars or 3 trillion bars and 3 Spirit of Harmony. Using the Spirit of Harmony will not trigger the 1 day cooldown, but remember the Spirit of Harmony is soulbound, so you can't give it to any herbalist and ask them to transmute it for you. Orb of Mystery is like the old part for the bike. You can buy them from Big Kich in the Valley of Eternal Blossoms for 18,000 gold each. He also sells Sands of Sime and the old bike parts. Those are the gadgets that I wanted to show you. There is more, like the usual guns and scopes, but you'll see those when it comes live. I really like the new gadgets, I'm really looking forward to them, especially the portable anvil, and I hope you will enjoy them too. Until next time guys, see ya!